you know, I used to love, I, and I still do, and I, I just talked to a guy the other day on something, and you could tell that, you know, he had, he was just going to go all day long. And, and I finally got to a place with him. I said to him, I said, are you done? And he goes, what do you mean? I said, you know, you've been talking for about two and a half hours about all this stuff. Are you finished? And mm -hmm. he goes, what are you talking about? And I said, look, you have not convinced me in any way, shape, or form. Are you ready? And he goes, okay. And next thing you know, this whole, his entire story changed, and everything lined up with the evidence that was in front of us. And, and then he finally looked at me and he goes, well, that was kind of a waste of time, wasn't it? I said, yeah, it was, you wasted your time and you wasted my time. And he, it, you're right, it was a waste of time. And this is why Don... Everybody that's involved with Summer uh, is a suspect, meaning, you know, the people near and dear. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick, I agree. Now are still in there uh, doing so, and I think it's created a perfect damn storm. And uh, if part of us have uh, you know, this to me screams uh, super risk and super predator just trying to get up there to one of our children. That was one hell of a risk somebody took. So, um, and that's just my feeling. I, I don't know if they've not watched the news because it makes me fucking sick what they're doing to Candace and Donnie. Uh, I don't give a shit how anybody feels about photos or family or history. I don't give a shit. Fuck them, they ain't living in the sticks. I don't give no dams. But it's making me sick to look at it and it's hard to hold my damn tongue. So I'm just not looking at anything. I know what's happening and she and he are going to be damned whether they do or whether they don't. Interviews or not. And it's the other and blah, blah. And I just don't. So, um, look, my feeling personally, because I don't know if the news has changed, it finally did. She's been making whatever, but my personal opinion is that's what happened, and I kind of felt that way for the first five minutes, first time. Anyway, I'm like, she's taken. Street killers, mass murderers, might have a certain personality, you might have a certain motive, you might have a certain fantasy structure. You might have opportunity, you might have means, but what you need is that event, that thing that sets the fire to the straw. And in forensics, we call that a precipitating factor, a precipitating event, um, which is an event that dynamically represents the last straw for a person. Uh, and um, sometimes that date, that, 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 that the date the person picks for a crime, when they're sort of thinking it through, or is it impulsive, when they sort of plotted it, um, it could be that they pick a date that's highly symbolic, like... An early morning fire at the Warriors Path Riding Stables. Jen Waxler, Warriors Path BFD Chief, says crews were dispatched a little before 5.30 a.m. to the Lower Horse Stables. He tells us when crews arrived, the fire fully involved the building with it being mostly burnt up. The stables were empty and no animals were harmed. The cause is still under investigation. 